Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to implement a date picker. Essentially, if we click a button or you know something that triggers our date picker, picker will pop up, allow us to select date, so that'll be day, month, and year, and that's it. We'll, we can select. So it's great for you know maybe an alarm, for example, or a reminder, that sort of stuff. Okay, so to do this outside of our widget, but still inside of the class, what we need to do is create the the actual select date method so we'll just do future no and we'll say going to call this select date and this is going to have the build context and have the context inside of it it's going to be asynchronous so async curly braces inside here we're going to have final date time so that's the format can be picked so this will determine you know, you know what has actually been picked you know which one was picked and we'll say equals await show date picker and I'll implement all these manually in a second so we need a semicolon here before the context we are gonna set this context as being passed in next we are gonna say the initial date and the initial date, I am going to set it to actually outside of here. I'm going to create a new variable. So I'm going to call this to be a type of date time. And it's going to be underscore date, not plus date, underscore date equals date time dot now. And the initial date will be the that variable. And now what we need to do is put the first date, and this is the basically the earliest date that you can choose. And we're just gonna say date time. And for this, you just put open close brackets, put the year, so let's say 1970, and if you put last date, this is the you know the last date you can choose. It's good to have restrictions on it. I'm gonna say 2100. And that's really all we need inside of here. Now what we need to do is handle setting the state. So if we do if picked is not equal nor and picked is not equal to the current date that has been set. Because if it has, then no need to re-trigger this. We can say print. We're going to print out the date. And we're going to say dot to string. And then we're going to say set state inside of here. We are going to say underscore date equals picked. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it after this. And now we need to create a button. You can, you know, create any sort of button. It could be a slider, you know, fairness. It could be anything that allows you to trigger some event. I'm just going to do keep it simple. Create a child. This is going to be an icon button. And in here, I'm going to say icon. Icons. Feel free to check out the icon button and the button videos for more information. And this is icon. Icons. Dot. Oh, you know, put alarm. It's sort of like got like a clock icon to it, style to it. And we're going to say we need. Ooh, no, we need the on pressed event. So this is going to be empty. And we are going to say select date. We can pass in the current context. Save that. And let's see what we get. And see, we've got the button now. If we click it, we can now select a date. So obviously, we can go ahead in time. Let's say select this one. Click OK. So as you can see, it's printed here February 2019. 19 February 2020 and that's it that's really all there is to the date picker if you want to know more information about the time picker feel free to check out my next video on that if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual I look forward to seeing you in the next video